Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Chrome pushing for HTTPS everywhere. In a recent blog post, Google and the Chrome developers highlighted their plans to make Chrome increasingly tell you that non-secured or non-TLS encrypted web pages are insecure. If you use Chrome right now, you might notice that when you go to a non-HTTPS web page, you get a little eye icon. And if you click on that icon, it warns you that this is a non-encrypted page. On January 1st, Google will release a new version of Chrome that's even going to be more insistent that a non-encrypted web page is not secure. Besides the eye icon, you'll also get some text saying that this page is not secure, especially if you're logging in on one of those pages. Finally, in the future, uh, Google and Chrome are going to go as far as actually putting a red triangle telling you that the page is not secure. Long story short, this is Google and Chrome's way of encouraging all websites to use HTTPS or SSL TLS encrypted communications. Now, of course, there's a lot of good reasons for HTTPS everywhere. I've talked about it in past videos. Obviously, using HTTPS keeps your web communications private. It also helps you validate that the site you go to really is the site you can trust. That said, there is a little black cloud to the increased use of HTTPS, and that's essentially that bad guys use it too, which I've talked about in past videos. A lot of attacks in malware use HTTPS as a command and control channel. In fact, the latest research study done between Poneman Institute and another security company has said 41% of the attacks out there are actually using HTTPS as a command and control or attack channel. So there's a lot of attacks using this encrypted traffic too. So why am I pointing this out? Well, overall, you should expect Google and other browser companies to continue to push for HTTPS everywhere. And generally, this is a good thing. This is going to increase the security of your web communications. But as an IT administrator, you also need to think about all the malware leveraging these encrypted channels. Right now, at the very least, you need security services such as WatchGuard's Firebox that can actually do HTTPS inspection so that we can do our intrusion prevention and malware detection on HTTPS encrypted channels. On top of that, there's one other future thing to be aware of. The industry is trying to update HTTPS encryption standards. A lot of the folks pushing for HTTPS everywhere are also trying to make it more secure. In other words, trying to prevent people from man in the middling the HTTPS connection. One of the ways they're doing this is enforcing something called certificate pinning, where the site you go to tells you what root authority certificate you should be using. Now, the one drawback to this is the mechanism or trick that security companies use to do HTTPS inspection will get broken when this sort of certificate pinning is forcefully enforced. So it may affect our capability of actually inspecting HTTPS traffic in the future. On one hand, it's a good thing from a privacy perspective. On the other hand, we need to realize that bad guys are also using encrypted traffic and we need ways to find attacks in that particular traffic. In any case, it's just more interesting evidence that more and more of the web is pushing to all encrypted traffic. You definitely need to prepare for it. And if you're a Chrome user, make sure to expect this in the January update. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.